Mr. Ojinski, how many witnesses do you need to prove your case? Your Honor, I need 27 witnesses. Would you like to learn what this is all about? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So here's what happens at the beginning of trial. The judge turns to me and says, Mr. Ojinski, how many witnesses do you expect to bring in to prove your case? If I tell the judge I need 27 witnesses to prove my case, he's going to ask why and who are they? In all likelihood, for example, in a medical malpractice case, I may have only a handful of witnesses coming in. I may need an expert. I'm going to have my client coming in. I'm going to have the doctor who we are accusing violated the standard of care come in. And there may be other ancillary witnesses. Now, there's no specific limit on the number of witnesses I can bring in, but I have to explain to the judge why I need these witnesses. Now, here's something important. If the judge realizes that some of these witnesses are going to be cumulative, meaning that they're saying all the same thing, the judge is going to say, wait a second, you are not bringing in witnesses to all say the same thing. Here's a perfect example. Let's say it's a cardiology case, a failure to diagnose a heart attack. And I want to bring in 10 cardiologists from different locations, from different hospitals, to all say the same thing. Do you think that'll happen? The answer is, the judge is going to say, no, Mr. Ojinski, you cannot do that. You can bring in one expert who's going to be talking about the violations of the standards of care. You cannot bring in 10 people all saying the same exact thing. If you did, then the defense could do the same exact thing. And if they brought in 15 experts, now they could argue to the jury, look at Ojinski. He only brought in 10 experts saying the same thing. We brought in 15, so therefore we're more believable. Well, that doesn't work. Instead, you can only bring in one expert to talk about one key area. And now, if you're going to bring in a second expert, it's got to be something different, either a different medical specialty or talking about something entirely different. So when the judge turns around and asks, Mr. Ojinski, how many witnesses do you plan on bringing in? You can be sure I'm not going to be saying 27 witnesses in a medical malpractice case in something that I expect will take only a week. In all likelihood, it'll probably be five or six witnesses, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Each case is different. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give a little bit of an insight and an understanding to what goes on in these types of cases here in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in the state of New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know I do this every single day and I'd love to talk with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a remarkable day.